Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to customize the header and the footer section in Spectra One theme. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to install the free Spectra One theme and how to create a website using the Spectra One theme. In this video, we will work on the customization of header and the footer section. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Spectra One theme on this WordPress website. Now let me show you the plugins that I'm using. Go to plugins. So here I'm using Spectra and Spectra Pro plugin. The Spectra is the free version of the plugin and Spectra Pro is the premium version of this plugin. I have already published many videos on how to use the Spectra Pro blocks. If you want to watch those videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. So here in the left hand panel, you will see appearance. Go to appearance and then click on editor. This will open the Spectra One theme dashboard. So from here, you, you can customize the templates and the parts of the Spectra One theme. So in the left hand panel, you will see again design navigation. Navigation is nothing but the menu bar. For example, this is the navigation bar, home, demo, blog. So this is the menu bar called as navigation here. Let me show you the default layout. So right now we have this header section and we are going to customize this header section and we are going to change the layout of this section. Let's go back and here you will see styles. Styles is nothing but the color palette for your website. If you want to choose one of the palettes, you can use the palettes. Then we have pages. So if you want to customize the pages, you can use this section such as demo. So these are the sections or the pages that you can customize. Then we have templates, you have archive is nothing but the blog page. This is the blog home card page. On, on this dummy website, I have WooCommerce installed. So it shows the card page as well as checkout indexed order confirmation. These are the layouts for the pages you can change. Let's go back and go to patterns. Under patterns, you will see different patterns. You can customize the text, call to action, here you will see some presets for the header and footer. If I go to headers, you will see eight different templates that you can use. Now here you cannot edit these patterns. You have to use it as it is. So if you want to use it, you can click on it and click on copy to my patterns. So it will be applied to your pattern. If I go here, template parts, under template parts, we have footer and under footer, I can see the footer section as well as the header section. So let's start with the header customization. Click on this option. So now you will see this is the current layout. Now we want to customize it. So click on it. And from here, you can click on the list view. So we can see the elements that are used here. And in the right hand side, we will see the settings. Okay, now this is the group. If I expand it, you will see under group, we have row. And under row, we have image, navigation and button. So this is the image, the navigation and button. Now, if you want to keep the same and if you only want to change the color settings, then you can select this group. And here you will see the style settings. If I go to style, you will see the current color. I want to change it. I can change the color from here. So this is how you can change the background color for the header section. Now, if you go to layout you will see inner blocks layout so these are the basic layout settings for this particular group if i go to row you will see the row settings these are the elements inside the row then we have image if you want to change the logo you can simply click on it and from here you will see replace you can upload your new logo here for example i'm going to upload the logo this is the logo that i want to use and it is going to replace the logo now, if you want to see it, you can simply close this one and close this one and you will see this is how the new layout will look. Let's go to list view. Now, if I do not want to use it. I just want to delete it and I'm going to create from the scratch. So let's go to group and from here, I'm going to delete the group. So everything will be deleted. Now, I want to add a new row. So I'm going to click on it and search for row. Say I want to add a row. So I'm going to select the row. I do not want this text box, so I'm going to delete that one. This is the row and under this row, I want to add a logo. So I'm going to select image. 
from media library i'm going to select the image this is the image so we have got logo here now for this row i want to change the background color so i'm going to select the background and i want to use this background color right now i want to add social icons so i'll look for social media icons so these are the social icons and you can click on plus sign and from here let's search for twitter then we will add facebook then add youtube so we have got three icons now let's go back to the list view and i want it under a row so it will go under row you can we can customize these icons if i click on it and here for the social icon select social icons let's center align it and uh, if you want to change the links you can simply click on that icon and from here you can enter the link label if you want to add the label or you can simply add the link now next to this i want the icon list so i'll go to plus sign and i look for icon so it will be icon list that i want so it will be like this and let's change the style to horizontal so this will it will look like this we have this icon i do not want i just want two icons here so i'll delete the third one so we have got two icons click on the first one and search for phone number or let's say phone and for this one i can have a link that will be let's say telephone number and you can add your number here now we are going to change the color so let's say for the color i am going to select yellow color for the text for the icon we are going to select white color so here we can copy style go here paste the style so it will be just like this and for this one i want to use it as the email address so go to icon and look for or let's look for envelope and you can add your link and enter your email address there all right let's close this one and close this one so this is how it will look now let's go back to the list view select the row go to settings and center align it or let's make it justified now this one looks good style and i do not want any spacing so i'm going to make it zero spacing or let's make it default for the margin i do not want any margin all right now below this i want to add another row that will be for the menu bar so click on the plus sign and search for row so this is the row and again we are going to justify the items at the center if i go to style settings i do not want any margin here so let's change the margin to zero and click on the plus sign and search for menu this will be navigation and you will see the navigation here now let's go to the list view select the row and let's add some padding here so this one looks good and we are going to change the background color also for the row so for the background color we can select let's say this one the dark black this one looks good now select the navigation and go to style settings for the navigation and change the text color to white background color no need to change size you can change the size to let's say medium medium looks good let's close this one close this one also 
all right so we have got the top section as well as we have got the menu bar so we have got two different rows here in the first row we have three columns and in the second row we have only one column which is the menu bar now let's select the navigation let's select the row again go to settings go to style settings and i want a border at the bottom so let's select border one pixel and color will be this so let's see how does this look let's click on save and save this new template now let's go back to the website this is the current template i'm going to refresh it so if i refresh it this is how the header will look you will see the logo then we have the contact details in the right hand side and then we have the menu bar just below the top part for some reason it is not showing the social media icons here so maybe a glitch which is not showing the social media icons i'll work on it and let's see why it is not showing the social media icons now we are going to customize the footer section so let's go back and here i'm going to close it the header section again let's go back go to patterns and you will see the footer here click on it now let me show you the current footer this is the current footer here and just like what we did for the header section you can use the same process to customize the footer section of this theme let's go back we have this footer here let's click on customize and let's go to the down let's go down and this is the footer section click on edit template it will ask you to edit template all right so this is the footer template now here i want to replace this image so i'm going to replace it with the logo so we have it already on the media library so i'm going to select this one and the color is white so i'm going to change the background color here so again i'm going to use the list view and this is the footer and for the footer group select the footer group in the right hand side you will see the style settings change the background color i'm going to use this one and for the text i'm going to use white so this one looks nice so if you want to change this paragraph you can change it you can add your own paragraph below that we have social icons again and if i Go to social icons you will see the settings for the social icons you can change the color let's use this one now next to that we have two different columns and in each column we have some and then navigation so these are the navigations if you want to change them you can change it if i click on this navigation and if i want to add something into this navigation i can simply click on it and in the right hand side i can add new item such as i can add custom link and you will see it here i can edit it label will be let's say support and you can add your link to this support so whenever someone clicks on it it will go to that page this is how you can customize the navigation items now this is the title i guess and it does not look good so i'm going to change the color And the same thing so this is how it looks so basically we have changed the background color and the color of the text we have changed the logo and if you want to delete any one of these sections you can delete the section if you do not want this menu you can simply delete it and you can delete the column you can add your own column if you want to add new section you can add new section just like what we did for the header section so similarly you can add new sections in the footer also so it is very easy to customize the header and footer section in spectra one theme you will need to play with the settings because sometimes whenever you make changes it's not going to show actually it, it will look different on the actual website so you will need to play with the settings you will need to play with the customization of the header and footer section so that's it for now see you in the next video
Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.